how do I smoothly transition clients to closure, especially if they appear to be afraid to close? Again, organic process. Uh, if you've laid the groundwork and move people through it, they will tell you when they're ready to be done, and it's usually not that long. And that's, that's really kind of a nice place. One of the mistakes I think therapists make quite often is that they, they have a mistaken idea of empathy. In our society, we tend to think of empathy as being able to connect with people's painful emotions. And instead of, I'd like to have, I'd like to have empathy thought of as more broadly, the ability to understand other human beings. And that is, you know, emotions are just a slim piece of a whole human being. What we end up doing because of the societal uh, over-focus on, on feelings is that we tend to always go to the negative feelings. We tend to bond through the painful emotion. And the difficulty with that for therapists in particular is that if they bond with their client through the, through the painful, hurtful experience the client has had, as the, that, that therapeutic relationship that they're building that it becomes so important to the client becomes jeopardized as they begin to get well, as they begin to move through, as they begin to grow. Because this relationship that they learn to depend on is built on the idea that your therapist is connected to your hurt. What happens if you start being less hurt? And so what you see a lot of times is they'll make really good progress up to a point and it's like they hit a wall and can't go any further. That is one of the dangers that we have when therapists bond with people through their negative experience. So what we want to encourage instead is that people bond with the strengths, the competencies, the, the power of a, of a client, um, no matter what they've experienced, they've got some of those, bond with that and not the negative painful emotion. Then what happens is as, you, as they move through therapy, the relationship tightens, but it isn't a dependency relationship. It is a mature relationship that allows them to say, you know, I really like you, but I am kind of done being here. So when I see that, it, it, if I'm supervising somebody, I really go back and look at the maturity of the therapist. Are they overbonding with the pain of the client? Thank you. I appreciate your thoughts and answers today.